Hello and welcome to ASX Options. This is Jonathan speaking. Today we're going to be talking about the underlying and contract multiplier. So the key idea is that an underlying is a security or commodity to be bought or sold under the terms of the contract. So that's a little bit wafty, but essentially what it means is that you have a contract and whatever the contract is concerning is what's called the underlying. So an options underlying could be shares. In this case, we've got an example of CBA. This is taken from our website. Um, most commonly, there are multiple shares um, all around the world that you could think of, but only some of them have um, options that are offered. So if you go over to our website, you can see that um, under the company directory, we have all the current 74 ASX listed companies and they're offered here and you can click through to any of them and um, and take a look. So moving on, you can also have an option on futures contracts. So what would be the underlying in different examples? So let's talk about quarterly options on futures. So the underlying are quarterly futures. We're not going to say what they are. They could be on grains, other types of commodities, um, rates, etc. But um, let's just talk generically. So quarterly options, a March option would have its underlying being the March futures. The June option would have its futures being associated with the June futures. The September options are going to have the underlying as September futures and you guessed it, the December options are going to have December futures. So you can also have an options underlying just being absolutely anything and a good example of this was in the first um, tutorial when we talked about the example of a house. So yeah, really, really an options underlying could be absolutely anything. So moving on, the contract multiplier. So what is this? So essentially purchasing options on exchange traded products have a specific quantity of underlying per contract. So what does that mean? That means if you go onto the ASX and you go look up an options contract, there'll, there'll be a number of shares associated with the options contract. So for shares, it's usually around 100, and for indexes, it's usually less. So why is that? So let's just picture a scenario that we have an underlying share price of about $10. If we have a 1% move, okay, that's equivalent to a 10 cent change. Quite small. Whereas if we consider that the underlying is the ASX 200 index at the beginning of March or just before at 7,000 points, now each contract is about $25 per point. So that's extremely large. Imagine a 1% move now. That's now $1,750 change. So quite a substantial difference. So the key point here is that by adjusting the number of shares in the underlying contract, a contract size that is reasonable for the exchange can be created. And we're going to get into this more later. So in summary, an options underlying is a security or commodity to be sold or bought under the terms of the contract. And an exchange traded option has a number of underlying that the contract controls. This is termed the contract multiplier. Thank you very much for listening to ASX Options, guys. See you in the next tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and hit that like button.